Hello and welcome to a character profile video for the class Sorceress. So what you're going to see in this video is all of her skills. You will see the top 8 PvE and PvP skills that I recommend. You'll see all her enhancements, her player card, and her farming speed. So without further ado, let's uh, jump in and show you all of her skills for Sorceress. Here we go. So if this is the first time that you've seen this uh, slide, uh, allow me to introduce all the parts to you. On the far left is all of the skills. Uh, the next column to the right is charges, so that's how many times you can use that skill. The next column over is how many times the skill hits, or can hit up to. So the first one can hit Shadow Kick, can hit twice. The next column over is uh, the damage percentage when you're fighting a monster or creature in the in the game. And the next one over is PvP, that is against another player, and the damage percentage you'll do against them. And finally on the right hand side is the specials. With the skill comes the special additions to it. So uh, you're in for a real treat because uh, Sorceress uh, has uh, something different that makes her stand out. I will uh, elaborate more on it when we get to the enhancements. So let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the top PvE skills now that you've seen them all that I recommend. Here we go. Alright, so here is the uh, PvE skills or all the skills and I've organized it according to the highest percentage of damage for PvE column. So you'll see uh, Doom Vortex is at the top and the eight skills below it highlighted in green are the ones that I recommend only because of damage. Um, there could be some specials that you like in other skills that do, don't do so much damage that you know, be my guest, swap out, see what you like. But if you're looking for how can I get in and get familiar with these skills and then over time I'll learn what I like and what I don't like here's the screen to start so let's go ahead and move over to the PvP skills that I recommend and here we go okay so for the PvP skills I need to explain first of all uh, Dark Shift uh, was kicked out from the PvE because it doesn't do much damage for PvP, but here you'll notice there's more than eight highlighted, and that is Doom Vortex all the way down. Uh, you'll get to uh, Shadow Eruption and Phantom Crash. These two are the exact same percentage of damage, so but they both have different specials so I'm leaving this up to you to let you know that you can select all of them but when you get to these two that have the same percentage of damage it's your choice obviously it's always your choice but your choice on what 150 percent damage skill do you want to choose so that is the reason why this is highlighted uh, in green more than eight skills all right and now we're gonna move on to the enhancements and there's a lot of explanation I need to do so prepare yourself here we go all right here is the enhancement slide and it will look different than all the other character profiles I have done so far but allow me to do the basics and introduce it so on the far left is all the skills and then from left to right is the white columns in the center and then on the far right is your branch damage. Uh, you will know what branch damage is as you work with your character, but the branch damages like Soret, La Brave, Owl, Ahib, they all make the skill you use if you're connected to it much stronger and do more. So that's branch damage. In the center, the first and second and fourth column, white columns, are skills that do something for your character the third one i always try to make that one what it's skill or enhancements that are against uh the person you you are fighting so let's just take um uh the first the first one midnight stinger 
uh, that I see. Crit chance, uh, plus one percent. Oh wait, no, no, sorry. Let's go down. Uh, eviscerate. Target DP minus five for five seconds. So that means the creature or the player that you're attacking with that skill, their uh, DP is going to be minus five for five seconds while you're using that skill on them. So that's what the whole column is for, is to show what you could do against somebody else. Okay, now to what makes this slide different. So you have a shard system for this character. And what I've outlined in the far left in red are the skills. You have four skills that access and use the shards that the sorceress has. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up a screen that shows where the shards are. So give me just one second, let me get that for you. Okay, so this is a still image of gameplay. And if you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, what's normal is the four skills and then the other four you could rotate into and then the basic attack in the center that you can uh, use. What makes her different is do you see the five uh, circles that are around the basic attack? Those are shards and you use those shards. So to explain, you have a skill called, uh, I believe it's called Shard of Darkness. Uh, we'll confirm that. And it regenerates every five seconds. I'll give you more details on that. But if you use a skill on the screen that I've outlined in Enhancements that says Shard, it will use one of these shards. So you have five shards that you can use that does regenerate but you can access the special skill, or excuse me, special enhancement for that skill. So now that you know where it's at to look for it, and you don't have to click on it or do anything, just be aware of what you have when you're fighting. It's like, okay, I got a few shards. I will use this skill that uses a shard and gives me the uh, enhancement that I'm looking for. So let's go back to the enhancement screen. Here we go. Okay, so now that you're looking at the enhancement screen, uh, again, the uh, again the skills that are outlined in red are the ones that utilize a shard. And I even outlined the word shard in red so you can easily visually see it. So let's take uh, Midnight Stinger at the top. So if you use that skill and you have a shard, what it'll do is it'll do an additional attack It'll be the same damage as Midnight Stinger, and it has a knockdown on hit. Now, you uh, need to make sure that when you go into your enhancements for that skill, that you actually have the level and activated that enhancement. This is not automatic. This is what you uh, put the potential of what you get when you uh, buy that enhancement for that skill. So. This character is very complex. She's got a really nice bag of tricks. And with uh, all the four shard skills, uh, excuse me, enhancements that go with the skills, she really can be uh, someone that can be uh, unpredictable on the battlefield. So take a moment, take a look at it. Now that you have the introduction of how the shard works, and it's called shard shards of darkness is what I meant to say. The very last skill on the uh, the list at the bottom so let's go ahead and move on to the uh, player card and we'll go from there see you there all right if this is the first time that you are seeing a player card then allow me to introduce it to you so at the very top is the top eight PvE and PvP skills that I recommend to the right of that is something new, I call it immobilization. So whenever you use a skill that knocks your opponent or the creature down, or knocks them up in the air, or stuns them, or anything like that, that's immobilization. The effect of knocking them back, I don't consider that immobilization. So uh, what you're looking at is she has more than, I'd say more than 50% of her skills have an immobilization to them. This is very positive. 
So it doesn't look like she has like two immobilizations in one of the skills, but hey, having one is better than having none. So that is what that in the top right corner means. And then below it are all of her skills. And what I've done is I've uh, highlighted in red the Shards of Darkness uh, feature for the Sorceress. And then below that is the enhancement screen we were just on that shows you the four shard enhancements that go with those skills. And I'm very pleased to show you for the PVE and PVP damage at the top, I've outlined where those shard skills would be. And it's really nice to see that they are uh, darn near at the top for damage as well as uh, having that shard effect. So that's great news. And uh, I've combined everything into this one thing, like a baseball card, called the player card. So that's what you're looking at. It's just a culmination of all the screens that you just watched put into one for your review. So if you're familiar with my uh, player profile videos, you might just skip to the player card and see what the new character has. <laughs> uh, I do want to call your attention to the very bottom uh, there's a definition for two terms that if you're not familiar with it, it's called forward guard and super armor. A lot of people talk about it, but they may not know what exactly that is. And I did some research and found out what the definition is. So I wanted to read that to you. Forward guard means that incoming damage will either be zero or heavily reduced. This is really a strong effect of forward guard. So super armor, which is very common in anything PvP in Black Desert uh, mobile or online. But uh, this means that incoming damage will be reduced and the effects that immobilize you, such as stun, knockdown, freeze, etc. It will not happen for a duration of time. And this is why the rotation of skills that people bring to PvP, they include as much super armor as they can so that they can freely move around and damage you while you get frustrated wondering why you're not stunning them. So that's how the player card works. And what we're gonna do now is move on to the farming speeds video. The music is gonna change, but uh, it's a really good video to show you how well the Sorceress does uh, farming for you. So here we go. Okay, welcome to Farming Speeds video. And before we start, let's show you where we're at. So we'll click on the map, and we're here in Balanos. And we are at Kron Castle Entrance. We always use this for our test area because their uh, CP is 2519, and ours is 4501. I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, show you a few more things. Before we get started, our test is for five minutes. So we have a clock here. And we also have a battle tracking sheet, which shows uh, how much money you can make and how much kills she does. We use the Black Spirit skill, uh, defeating the enemy, to track how many kills were done. So we'll bring up that battle tracking sheet and put in, uh, is it uh, 1847 as our start? And then once she's done, we'll put that number in, subtract it, to give us how many kills that she did for this test. Uh, I always use the same armor, so it gives her the 4501 uh, CP. And there's nothing else in the inventory, except for potions. Rarely I'll use that. And let's see, what else can I show you? Uh, we always have a auto path to our fighting area. And our pets uh, are in good shape to collect all the junk loot. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get this started. And when we uh, will bring up our clock again. And when she gets there, we'll start it and she'll have five minutes to kill as many as possible. This is the first time I've noticed people over here, so yeah. oh well won't disturb our test in the least. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, take the clock away and allow you to see and listen to how she how she attacks.
So now that you got a good sense of uh, what she does, let's call your attention to the bottom right corner What that discussion about shards. She just used a shard and because five seconds was up, it regenerated. So now you can get an idea of, huh, you know, they do come back. So it's just a matter of planning it. If you have a rotation of skills, uh, don't worry. You'll always have a shard to use that special uh, enhancement. But if uh, all of your skills are utilizing shards, which, by the way, I gave her the top 8 PvE skills that I recommended. Oh, looks like a minute 32 on the clock. That's good. So she's auto fighting and using all of the skills she can. So it looks really good that you may not deplete yourself of shards. That is up to you to decide. I will say, if you love the color purple, this is the gal for you. <laughs> All of her effects are purple. <laughs> well, it looks like we're almost at the mid midway point in our test. So I'll take a moment here to explain when we hit the five minute mark, I'm going to stop the auto fighting and immediately have her go to town. When we're in town, we'll uh, see how many kills that she did. And we'll also see uh, the uh, junk loot that she received and what else she got. But keep in mind that the junk loot is all I'm tracking. You may get pieces of armor, you may get other stuff that you wanna sell. So consider this test a bare minimum possibility of how much silver you can make for five minutes. Looks like we're rounding out to the last minute in our test. I do like the fact that she uh, attacks very fast, but uh, you know, there's those moments you gotta time in those big hits, so be aware of that too. Alright, looks like we're almost set here. And time. Here we go. So once we get to town, we'll probably go to Eileen, who seems very popular these days because she has her own personal quest, Eileen's Woes at the top. <laughs> and if you're having trouble doing that, I have a video for you on that, so enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so now that we're here, let's find out how many kills did uh, the sorceress do. So let's pull up our battle tracking. And 2093 is where she ended. We'll pull up our calculator here. Yep. 
I just don't do that quick at math. Sorry. Besides, accuracy, right? Need accuracy. So 2093 minus 1847, 246 killed in five minutes. So let's uh, go ahead and see how we did for loot. Oh, looks like we got some skill books, some light stones, some regular stones, and we got some good junk loot there. So let's go ahead and sell it. I'm the general goods vendor now, here in Now, I made a mistake and I sold one for 240 and I should have sold them all so I can get that overall number. So sell all and for 70,800. So I'll come here to the history, add the two together, which is 71,040 silver. So we'll come back to our battle tracking and put 71 comma 040. So that's how much money we made in five minutes. So let's go ahead and clear out the calculator, take that, and if we were to do it for 30 minutes, which is time six, we would get almost a half a million. So 426,240. So we'll put that in our sheet. If you did it for one hour, which is times two, hesitant it's okay click that too there we go you got 852,480 so one hour's work is almost a million in silver and then if you did it for four hours holy cow three million four hundred nine thousand nine hundred and twenty you could literally put her in a farm spot go have dinner uh, go run some errands come back and she will reward you with lots of silver. And that's the junk loot. That's not counting any of the armor or anything that might drop for you to sell if you don't need it. And that'll do it. So this has uh, been a really nice presentation for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm always making more. So if you like my videos, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.